Hello! In this video demonstration I will show you how to create add-ins for Solaris PDM. Let's start by creating new project in Microsoft Visual Studio. File New Project. Select C Sharp and Class Library. Just give it a random name and click OK. Now let's add interop DLL to this project. Browse to Solaris PDM installation folder and look for EDM interface .dll. If your project is targeting .NET Framework 4.0 or newer, it is important to set this option to false, otherwise your add-in may misbehave. Let's rename our main class. In order to allow Solaris PDM to recognize this class as an add-in, it is required to implement IDM Add-in 5 interface. It is also required to make this class COM visible. I would recommend to explicitly assign the GUID to your COM class, so it will be easier to track your add-in in the client applications. The last step is to specify the minimum supported PDM version. You should do it in the get add-in info method. Like in this case, I specified 17, which means that this add-in will work with SolarWorks PDM 2017 onwards. This now completes the minimum requirements for SolarWorks PDM add-in. Please note that you do not need to register this DLL with regards to utility. Simply build the project. Just browse to the folder where the DLL are compiled. Go to Administration tool in PDM and add the add-in. Note that you need to add all DLLs of your add-in. Ignore this warning for now, I will explain later what it means. Let's remove the add-in and continue. Uh, now let me show you some uh, interesting behavior of the add-in. Now let's make this assembly com visible, so all the classes in the project will become visible com object. Let me add a few classes into our project. So this may be just a utility classes, like in this case I have a few samples. And this is just an empty classes with some uh, random code in the constructors. Let's build this project again and add new DLLs into our PDM administration console. Now, as you can see, it takes significantly longer to register this add-in. Click OK. And we need to wait for another few seconds to get this uh, add-in finally added into the vault. OK, it is finally in the vault. Let me remove it and explain why the performance dropped. The reason for this behavior lies in procedure which Solaris PDM follows when loading your add-in. PDM will create instances for all COM objects from all DLLs in the add-in, which means that the default constructor will be called for each COM visible class in those DLLs. So if there is any routine within the constructors of those classes, those functions will be run. This applies regardless your add-in is using those classes or not. As a summary, I would recommend to have this option unchecked, unless you explicitly needed to do so. Let's uncheck this option and make sure that this fixes the problem. Now it takes significantly less time to load this add-in into the vault. Let's continue and add some code into our add-in. 
Uh, firstly, I would specify the adding name. Uh, and also, I would like to add a menu command in here. I need to give that command an ID and also the name. I can handle the menu click in the onCMD function. I need to check what is the type of the command invoke this function. If you have multiple commands and you want to identify which one is clicked, you can use command ID. Let's get the pointer to PDM Vault and show the message. Let's explore the world, select the menu, click on test and hello world message is displayed. Uh, now let's remove the add-in from the world and make some modification. So I just want to change the message, rebuild, add add-in to the world. Now let's stop and read this message. Uh, this message says that .NET add-ins cannot be reloaded. And in order to apply a new version of the add-in, it is required to reboot the machine. Let's see what will happen if we go ahead and click that menu command. As you can see, the old message is displayed, which means that our add-in is not updated. To load new version of the add-in, we can reboot the machine, or we can simply kill the processes which are locking the uh, add-in's DLLs. Kill EDM server process. Kinesio admin. As well as explorer. When you kill Explorer process, your Windows taskbar will disappear. Uh, just start Task Manager. You can just click Ctrl Alt Delete. Uh, go to File menu, select New Task and type Explorer. Uh, now since the process was killed, we need to log into the vault again. And click the menu command. And now the message is updated. Uh, if you develop in the add-in, this process will slow down your debugging as you will need to close those processes every time you build new version. Thanks for this all, our SPDM provides a handy functionality to simplify the debugging of the add-ins. Please follow the link in the description of this video for more information. Thank you for your time.